Welcome to the Backgammon Christmas Calendar. 24 points of Christmas. The 21 point by Grandmaster Mark Olsen. What's up Backgammon fans? Today is the 21st of December. Christmas is getting near. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the 21 point. So, this is your home board over here. This is my home board over here. The 21 point is right there, right over here in my home board, my four point. And obviously, that's one of the key points. We already covered it when we were on your side of the board, the 4th and the 5th of December. Those were the key points over here. We specifically called it the golden point for the five point and the silver point for the four point. It's the same over here, right? The 20 point anchor is the golden point. The 21 point anchor is the silver point. Needless to say, it's a crucial point on the board. We really want to get that anchor here on the 21 point. We prefer 20 point, but the 21 point is also very good. More or less, all of the strategy rules that's attached to the 20 point, 20 point also applies here on the 21 point. Like if we establish the 21 point, we don't want to let it go. Throughout the entire middle game, we just sit tight. This is an asset, no matter if you're ahead or behind in the race. You should not run from this anchor without a very good reason to do so. Namely two good reasons. Either you roll a big double and run all the way, or you can run from the anchor with an outfield hit. If you can get an outfield hit, then it's okay. But other than these two exceptions, you don't run from your silver point. You stay there. I don't think we need to talk about splitting and making the anchor. We already covered that in other videos. Of course, we want to split early on with the three and we want to come to make this anchor. And when we split, I'm going to hit loose, right? Because I'm fighting for the key points up here. I don't want you to get an advanced anchor. So I'm going to hit loose. If I roll a three, two, for instance, I'm hitting loose with the deuce and I'm bringing down a three up here. That's my play because I'm fighting for the silver point, just as I would for the golden point here. Hey guys, remember to download and play on the Backgammon Galaxy app. When we talk about uh, the, the, the strategy of the game after you've established the 21 point, it's very similar to after when you establish the 20 point. No matter what direction the game will go in, this will be an asset. If you're ahead in the race, this is a good launch ready position to be have the checkers here to run with a big double. If you're behind in the race, you're gonna play a holding game. You're gonna sit tight and you're gonna play a holding game from this anchor and try to hit a turnaround shot. So let's look uh, at one or two rules with regards to holding game cube action decisions. Let's say I have full freedom. We've seen this before several times. Let's say we have a position like this and maybe you've got something over here going on as well. While you're waiting, you're playing a waiting game here, you're trying to build your board, you're trying to build your board in the right order, right? Here we go, something like this. So again, we have a quote unquote default holding game position. I have full freedom, right? If this guy was down here, it's not a holding game yet, this is a middle game, the battle is still on. Not until I get full freedom. Okay, now I can double. Now we're in a holding game position and I can double if I'm ahead with 14 pips or more. The take decision is actually very simple because as long as there are gaps in the offensive player structure and you're sitting on a 21 point anchor holding game, it's always a take. It's always a take. Here there are two gaps. Uh, let's, say, let's say we had this position instead. From the 20 point holding games, we talked about the bar point. That's a bonus point and sometimes it would be a pass if you're behind by more than 20 pips this would be a pass but when you have the 21 point and I have the bar point if the five point is open it's not that it's not all that good you know it I mean I prefer to have it I can easier clear the midpoint but this gap here is very annoying for me which means that it's good for you and as long as there's this gap you can always take the cube from a 21 point holding game so it's very simple strategy rule. The default 
quote unquote default holding game from the 21 point is always double take as long as I'm ahead by 14 pips or more and as long as there still are, are some gaps in my structure. If I were to have a structure like this, now it doesn't apply anymore because this is a solid structure. It's much easier for me to play safe here and bring my checkers home. Again, you need to be, uh, if you're behind by more than 20 pips, you should give up here. Maybe even a little bit less because this is very powerful, a structure like this. Like this, easy take because of the gap. You simply have too much contact value from the holding game here, from the 21 point. Contact value means that that's all the equity you get from winning the game throughout, uh, through contact. So that, would, that means that you have to hit a shot and then you have to win the game from there. So your home board over here also matters. If you have buried checkers, if you're like this, this is crap. <laughs> this is, I mean, even if you hit a turnaround shot, you're not gonna win because you don't have anything over here. So you need to have a, preferably a pure structure or something close to it that you can fill it out and have a nice structure. So when you get the turnaround shot, now you're ready to win. That's crucial. Uh, that, that's what we call contact value. That's your, all the equity you have in the game from hitting a turnaround shot and winning the game from there. So something like this, it's a double and it's a take. We hope you like this video with the strategy rules regarding the 21 point Christmas is getting near guys. We hope you enjoy the holidays and we see you tomorrow. Christmas backgammon fans!